welcome back to you all so as of now we are done with johnson counter ring counter and asynchronous counters also no now we are going to discuss the generalized designing processor of synchronous in the johnson the designing of johnson was very easy and in fact ring also those were very easy kind of or examples of synchronous counters but uh, with the help of this lecture you will understood to design or the procedure of designing any kind of synchronous counter okay so i will suggest you all just pay your attention and go through each and every step of this lecture okay so here it is the definition of synchronous counter i hope that you all are aware with that so heading toward the designing procedure okay so in the designing procedure the first and important thing is to identify what is being asked actually in synchronous you may be given a random sequence you may be given anything to design actually within the capacity obviously so uh, the first and important thing is to identify what you are asked to design okay let's say you may be asked to design a binary of counter that is counting only even number that is counting only odd numbers you may be given a random sequence also like 1 4 Six uh, and then seven. You may be given anything like this. Okay, so first of all, you have to identify what you are asked. Based on that understanding, you have to design the state diagram. Okay, let me show you how will you design the state diagram. So let's say for the sake of simplicity, I have taken two bit uh, binary up counter. So uh, first, uh, let me further explain you what is a two bit binary up counter or what we are expecting from two bit binary up counter. So if it is mentioned that two bit binary up counter what does it mean that uh, or can you suggest me the total number of different stages it will have if it is a two bit binary uh, counter if it is a two bit binary counter so total different stages it can have the total number of different combinations we can represent by using two bits what is that four actually 0001011 okay so that is how you will identify that total different combinations or uh, not combinations stages with the help of given number bits given number of bits so if you are given let's say 3 bit okay and or if you are asked to design 3 bit binary up counter so total different stages it will have 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so can you tell me the mod of these counters mod is what is mod mod is nothing but the stages only total different stages so a two bit binary up counter is having a mod of 4 a three bit binary up counter is having a mod of 8 i hope that you are getting this and if i am talking about four bit binary up counter what does it mean total number of different stages will be 2 to the power 4 in this case that is equal to 16 okay so the mod of a 4 bit binary up counter will be 16 hope you have got that now with the help of bits only you will identify the required number of flip flops if it is a 2 bit uh, binary up counter then you need two flip flops if it is a 4 bit binary up counter then you need four flip flops okay now the type of flip flop so the type of flip flop either you may be specified like in the question itself you may be specified uh, to go with any particular flip flop then you have to go with that or if it is not specified then you can choose any flip flop of your choice okay so uh, this these are a few essentials to go pro to proceed further that's what i have illustrated now uh, uh, let's let's come or uh, back to the our first step first you have to try try to understand what is the what you are asked to design okay based on that understanding you have to draw the state diagram what is a state diagram in a state diagram I mean all the states of that counter will be represented that's all okay so if it is a two bit binary up counter total number of stages will be 4 it will up count it start its counting from 0 0 and then 0 1 and then 1 0 2 1 1 and again go back it will back to 0 0 is that okay so that is you have to represent these transitions in a diagram that will be referred as a straight diagram let's have a look initially i have started with 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 and after this 1 1 again i will go to 0 0 this is your straight diagram 
so first you have to understood what is being asked and from that understanding you have to draw the is uh, this is straight diagram okay with the help of this straight diagram you have to draw a straight table what is a straight table a straight table represents present states and next state of that uh, counter okay so if my, let's say i uh, mean to, uh, why i have taken q1 q2 only why not q3 or why q1 q2 why not only q1 okay why because it is a two bit counter so if it is a two bit counter then i have to go with two bits only simple now so <coughs> q1 q2 okay so let's say my present state is 0 0 if my present state is 0 0 what should be my next state after 0 0 where should i go i go to, i should go to 1 so that 1 should be my next state okay now if 1 sorry 0 uh, wait a minute if 0 1 is my present state what should be my next my next state should be 2 mm, i'm sorry for that and if uh, so this should be 2 and uh, if my present state is 2 then what should be my next state that should be 3 and if my present state is 3 what should be my next state next state should be 0 0 the solve so with the help of this uh, mean state diagram we have designed the state table now in the next uh, step step number 4 mean from that state table you have to figure out the inputs of flip flops in this case we are going to design it with the help of jk flip flop so we will figure out the inputs of jk flip flop so for that i will refer the excitation table of jk flip flop let me have that this is the excitation table of jk flip flop if you was asked to design this counter with the help of any other flip flop you would have taken its uh, uh, excitation table that's all okay now here we goes this is the uh, a state table what we have already seen now with the help of this state table only you will write the inputs of j and k okay so as we have already discussed that in this case we need only two flip flops so i will we will have j1 k1 and j2 k2 as my inputs of flip flop now we have to identify that how will we do that so let's first stick with q1 and q1 t plus 1 because q1 is representing the present state of some flip flop and q1 t plus 1 is representing the next state of the same flip flop okay so here we go see it is 0 0 present state is 0 next state is 0 we have to design it with jk flip flop that is why we have to refer to the excitation table of jk flip flop and when present state is 0 and next state is 0 what are the inputs of j and k that may be 0 and cross that's all na so let me write it here the value of j and k is 0 and cross similarly you have to proceed further what is the next uh, present and next state next present and next state is 0 and 1 okay now again you have to refer the excitation table from the excitation table you can see the value of j k is 1 cross so that, here we goes okay and that i will write here 1 and cross now 1 1 for 1 1 what is the value of j and k for 1 1 the value of j and k is cross 0 i will write it here and for 1 0 the value of j and k is cross 1 that's why i will write it here so that is how i have identified the input value of input for j1 and k1 similarly by referring q2t and q2t plus 1 and excitation table you can write the value of j2 and k2 okay so that is how you will get the value of j2 k2 once we have got the value of j1 k1 j2 k2 you have to find the boolean expression for that how will you do that for finding boolean expression from table you have to go with k map so we'll go with k map and i will consider q1 and q2 as my input variables okay so when you will go with k map i'm not going to solve that i believe that you must be knowing that so with the help of k map you may get you will be getting these expression for j1 k1 it is equal to qt sorry q2 and for j2 k2 it is equal to 1 that's simple okay let's look in this case so now we'll have you know move toward the implementation implementation as i have told you earlier that we need only two flip flops that is why i have taken two flip flops it is synchronous then each flip flop should be connected with a common clock here i did that now j1 k1 is to be connected with q2t simple i have connected that see and j2 k2 is to be connected with 1 here we goes i have connected it with 1 the solve 
this Q1 is representing your MSB and Q2 is representing your LSB. That is how we have completed the design of synchronous counter, 2-bit synchronous counter. Uh, by following these procedures, these six steps, if you have understood these six steps, you can design any of the, uh, mean, uh, synchronous counter. Uh, where, mean, where will be the changes actually? Let me just uh, tell you where will be the changes the changes will start from the very first step what was the first step in the designing the first step in the designing was this state diagram okay so if uh, <coughs> wait a minute for this see the change will start from here from the state diagram only okay let's say you have to design a counter which is counting 0 3 4 that is not counting 2 so you will exclude this 2 from your state uh, diagram okay just just give me a minute uh, for explaining that see you will exclude i mean uh, this 2 okay you won't consider that if you are asked to design a counter which is counting 0 1 and 3 only you will exclude that and your state diagram will have these three state uh, states only and mean accordingly you will proceed further and you will complete the design okay hope you have understood the designing of synchronous counter next thing we'll discuss in next lectures okay thank you very much